I ain't no baller. Still need my accounts longer, like the way my nephew's getting taller. My soundtrack is the second quarter, dreaming of accepting offers. And he's intentions, keep the family out of East attention. And out of Pine Hills funeral center, spots we got no business entering. Back when Jill Scott was the apple of my Afrocentric. Yo, this Drake album is crazy. I I hope y'all can hear me. Who's in here? Anyone in here? Pull up. Yo, how's this an error, man? I gotta figure out how to transfer all that data. Yo, can't do it. Damn. Yup, yup. What up, uh, Cool Kicks? So this is a random setup for me right here, man. I'm just gonna be uh, this how I reorg the claws, the closet. So I was like, yo, let me just turn the camera on. I ain't been dropping no videos lately, so that's what we about to do. I was actually listening to this Drake album. Yeah, I ain't legit, yo. I ain't trying to get copyright, but anyways, man. If y'all haven't listened to it, go ahead and listen to it, man. There's a few songs on here. That I like, man. Time flies is cool. What else is on here? Um, I think I got halfway through. What I like, man. So I could just play a little snippet if I get in copyright, but I'll probably take this down anyways. And the computer's right here, so I don't have a way to go back and forth. Obviously, I'm on the camera. Um, what else? What else? Um, is that with Chris Brown? Yeah, you got one. Uh, not you two. Oh, y'all already know this one, right? So I could, uh. What y'all saying? What up? Let's start from the from the top. Like I said, I got the computer right here. Y'all know this one, right? But you already know how YouTube will do you, right? So we gotta we gotta put a chill to that. But anyways, man, thanks for pulling up. I don't know how many people's in the building. Actually, I don't even got this on my channel. Let's see how many people's in the building. Not like I really care, but I just want to see real quick what messes fail. Yo, this is yo, this is crazy. Um yo, because I know I don't I don't go live much. So yeah, we got 18 people in the building. I'll mute this. All right. One second. Ooh, that's a delay. But anyways, man, drink of choice. Got that green machine. Heineken, and we about to reorg a few shoes up up in here. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, like, yo, Frank, show your whole entire sneaker collections. I did the Jordan 1s, the 3s, the 4s, and I did the Air Max. Part 2 is coming. Actually, I shot that video. I haven't edited it. Um, but I also got some random Jordans that I never really shown, so I feel like this is a way I can show my collection. And if you watch my videos, you can kind of combine all my videos. and Because doing everything at once is crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I don't even got the patience. To shoot, I mean, let alone, yo, to shoot this with Benny, yeah, I took two hours. That's just the Air One Jordan collection, man. So we got some shoes up here. I took some shoes down, put around here. We're going to reorg some things. I'll show y'all some things. And, you know, this is a way I could do an Air Jordan One collection. Also get a video up and, you know what I'm saying, rap with y'all. But, you know what I'm saying, I got to take a little swig real quick. But that's what we about to do today. Um, I wish I had an admin. Who can like let me know who's in the building and um i can answer some of you guys questions but uh let's do a roll call real quick sneaker review junior noah what up be safe cool kicks Lowe's, what's happening big dog chilling uh dago what up uh <laughs> johnson says the goat that's good don't get flag i know i already turned it off uh cool kicks watchful news um who else is this who's this uh, Mega London now. Uh, what, what you said? I'm not sure what language that is, but it looks like it could be in Spanish. Uh, Andre says sup. 
Um, Jeremiah, what up? Uh, who else? One uh, M, uh, Josie, 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 Perez, what up? Argentina uh, present. That's what's up. Roll call. <laughs> we got twenty four people in the building, so let's get to it, man. I'm gonna show y'all some shoes I got up on the closet. Um, probably go through some ones, and if y'all have any questions about that, you know, what I'm saying it'll be a little delay, but I'm gonna get to y'all, man. But um, so the goal is. I just put a little workstation right here. Nothing crazy. I got to transfer some footage. I'm trying to actually give you a little heads up. I'm trying to reorg my whole like videos. So I've been shooting videos since 2016 and I had no organization. And sometimes I like to talk about shoes I, like I saw in the past. And for me to call on those shoes, in other words, like search for them, it's hard. I go through footage and footage. Like I'm talking about like thousands of hours of footage. My memory is okay. I kind of know, you know what I'm saying, where it was shot, but I don't know when particularly, like what, what outlet what day so i'm trying to like set up my library so i can just type in jordan one it'll give me a plethora of them and i can narrow it down and i get all the shoes so i can do that um that flashback you know what I'm saying seamlessly if i have take me two days just to get that 10 second clip <laughs> it's crazy but so part of me reorganizing that i got this workstation here dedicated just for transferring data and once i get all the data transferred then i'm gonna go ahead and start doing that we go all the down downtime in the downtime in the world so I figured I could use some time to, you know, pull up maybe an hour or two. Actually, I still work from home, so that's nothing new to me. I still have a full-time job doing that, blessed. So I still going to be putting that work in, get my libraries organized, and boom. Yo, Benny, I know you're watching, man. Jump in here, man, so you can, uh, you can mind this chat. But uh, that's it. And that said, that's why it's a workstation here. Got the little angle right here. I hope you guys are hearing me fine. And we about to go through some shoes, man. Which I want to see first, man. And, well, I really can't tell you. It's just going to be random. But, um, oh, I know what I was going to say. The goal is to get as much shoes on top as possible so there's no shoes in the office. Right now, it's superb. The office is clean. There ain't really much shoes lagging here. So, um, But I have a few shoes, which I'm going to get to. Um, but eventually, everything should be up there. And maybe two or three uh, laggers will be on the floor. But I'm probably going to get rid of them. And I'll show you what they are. And... You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it moving. I uh, one more roll call, man, for the people that show up late. Uh who up who ups in here? Who else? Who else? Who else? Jason. Um, uh, Diego here. He said, What's up? Kyrie Sixes. I don't know if I have any. Nah. Yo, speaking of that, there's tons of sales, man. Yo, I saw the PG threes or fours. I think we're on the fours, man. Cheap, like $54. Finish line had a spring 30 discount sale. Yo, they had the uh Jordan 34s, which I regret not pulling the trigger when I saw it, I had it in the car, and I was like, nah. What's crazy is I declined that shoe, but bought like two shoes a couple hours later. But anyways, it was hit for $84, the Black Cat, Jordan 34s. Um, I bought a couple of shoes, man. Actually, I don't know how far in the closet, but I'm piling up here. We're going to do a quarantine pickup after all this stuff. Um, piles up, and you know what I'm saying, when it's when it's safe to, not safe, but yeah, well, I'm just going to wait till I get all the shoes I want. Um, but anyways, let's get into some shoes. All right, so what we got here, man? Um, this is a smaller box. This is a Jordan 14. I think it's called the Indigos, the Black Indigos. What they call them? These are uh, the green joints, vivid green. I forgot what they call these, man. Size 11. This is one of the shoes I copped from um, uh, StockX way before the update the fees, way before the COVID 19, way before all the drama and selling you shoes. I copped that from them for a reasonable price, way below retail. Uh, that's the 14 joint. What else? Oh, some Nike IDs, bro. Speaking of Kyrie's. So let me know if y'all can see in it, man. Let me know. Maybe I'm going to have to tilt the camera down a little bit. Get me. Um, maybe I got to do it in the back. I'm going to tilt the camera just a tad bit so you guys can get the whole frame. Y'all need to see me. I just need to see these shoes. But yo, I got some Nike IDs joints right here, man. I I copies, what, three years ago now? Rocked them twice. These are the Kyrie 2s. I did them black and gold with the gum bottom out. So have not hooping them. I wear them casually, but haven't rocked these shoes in probably two years, man. These, these are dope. Um, love these. Got these on sale off the Nike sneaker app. Let me make sure I'm showing the shoes right. Yeah. Maybe I might have to adjust the camera. Let me know it's too dark too, man. This is all on the fly, man. But we'll we'll come over some other stuff. Let me get the let me get the picture situated real quick. And then you guys let me know. I might need to bring the light up a little bit. Um, got this remote where I can control my lighting. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put the light on blast. There we go. All right, 
So that was the Kyrie's. What else we got? We got the Jordan 9s, man. Let me know if y'all got cop this, bro. These are the military joints, man. Is it military or militia? I forget what they call. There are militant green. Militant green, Air Jordan 9s. Like these, cop these at the Nike outlet way back when. When I first started doing YouTube, this was one of the shoes I cop. No one showed these shoes love. I rocked a few times. You can see it's still it's dirty, but it's still crispy on top. You know what I mean? The midfoot is still crispy. Uh, I wasn't getting rid of these at one point, but I had to keep it, man. I, I like those shoes. I like nines, man. And as I go through, I got some other nines, and I'll let y'all know some stories. Like I said, the goal is to organize this this row, but I notice when I have wider boxes at the bottom, I can't put as much shoes, you know, going across. So the goal is to put the smallest boxes at the bottom and kind of build it build it up like a reverse pyramid. If that makes sense. Um. But yeah, I got some shoes back then. I'll get to that. I'll show you some shoes back here as well. And if we got some time, maybe I'll comb through a few of these. Let y'all see what's in there. Uh, what we got here. So this is the Air Jordan 10 joint. It's probably the Seattle's. Where are these? Yep. These are Seattle 10s. How do y'all clock these, bro? These joints went on sale. This was a sleeper. They're probably still on sale with all the um, discounts we're getting right now for online. I like these shoes, man. Seattle 10s. I cop them for a very good price, definitely way below retail. I think I paid like a buck, 20 for them. Probably what you can get them for if y'all wait for a good deal. Um, What else? I'm going to put that aside. What else? If y'all got any requests, let me know, man. Questions, just line them up, man. I'll go through them. Uh, who are these? Who are you? Oh, some more 14. I love these two as well, man. Uh, these shoes came out 2017-ish, I think. Like, end of 2017 Make sure I'm right on that. Yep. Uh, no, probably 2000, uh, late 2016. Um, I forgot what these are called. Indigos, maybe. I forgot. The black and the other pair, if you get me confused of which one they are. Um, copies for a discount. I think this was a outlet pickup as well. Can't remember. Size 12, my size, size 14. Yes, might be an outlet pickup because I didn't get it day one. Uh, what else back here? Um, oh yeah, here's another Nike outlet pickup. It's like one of the first shoe I caught for dirt price, a dirt cheap price off of, um, what was it, International Clearance Store. Um, these are the Barcelona. I forgot if they're called the days or the nights. I love this color, man. Funny story about this, when I walked in the building, this was the only pair left, size 11 and a half. Now I did cop another pair from that same store for really, really cheap. Not this particular shoe, another shoe. If we can get to it, I'll just tell you. It was the Air Jordan 1 cyber mondays it was a size 11 you know I could, i'm a, I'm a real 11 and a half 12 but the leather was so malleable i can put that shoe on my feet and rock it no problem size 11 was gucci um but anyways that was the first pick and i think this was the second pickup the guy knew i wanted the shoe and he's like yo i'll hook you up so not only was it on sale for like uh 94 but he also gave me his like employee discount which uh, you know he did it i didn't ask you know what i'm saying so i accepted uh he sold to me still having the collection i rocked it a few times like this shoe man have not rocked it in probably like two or three years though. Just keeping it buck. Um, what y'all asking, man? Yo, 53 people in the building. I actually got those tens. Damn. That's what's up, yo, cops. That's what's up, man. Yo, if I show the shoe, whatever it is, Jordan 9, y'all put cop, didn't cop, or hate, like, whatever. Y'all, y'all do y'all thing, man. Y'all figure out in the in the um in the comment section. What else? So I gotta be mindful, to put the shoe back in, in order. I want, like I said, I want to stack all this. Uh, what else, man? Oh, another Nike outlet pickup, man. These are the cool gray tens. A lot of people sleep on tens. A lot of people don't like tens, man. With the infrared, obviously it's clearly worn. Cop this shoe for a buck twenty back when I first started YouTube. Right, right on the cuff of me starting actually posting videos. I think I was in the process of not posting because I started YouTube channel in October. I really didn't post until like nine months later. And between that, I think I copped this and I copped the other pair between that. But if y'all OG on my video, you probably know more than I would because I can't remember the dates. But uh, I want to say that was a pick. These two were pickups before the channel actually not took off, but like where I start proactively posting, man. Um, damn, we got more people climbing in, yo. We have 61. A lot of people uh, leaving comments. Yo, Ben, if you watching, bro, jump in, man. You can monitor this uh, chat so I can hear those questions. Like I said, I want to put this back in the order. So don't worry, we got shoes behind us. 
We got other shoes right here. I'm gonna tackle. If you guys got other questions about Nike outlet pickups, uh, sneaker app pickups, let me know. I will periodically look at the chat um, every so often. This is a nine. Oh, shoot. I don't think I. So we got to now stack. So this is a small box Nike ID. So that's going to go at the bottom for the base. It's another small box. The goal is to try and get an extra pair of shoes through there. Um, what up, what up, what up? We got that, we got that. All right. All right, what we got? All right. Let's go through these. Let's bring down some heat. Let's bring down, well, you know what I'm saying, lukewarm. Maybe I already have it. Maybe you don't. Yeah, I see the red boxes. see the red things. Um, what is this? Uh, okay. I don't know what the initials mean. I, I don't even know. So why am I looking at the box? Let's get into it. Um, you already know this is from the Fearless Pack. Oh, okay. Okay. Boom. Do the great. Dope shoe. Not only is it a dope shoe, it's even a better shoe because it's a mid. Yeah, how Jordan brand flip a mid like this, but can't show no love. Give me one second, y'all. Can't show no love on, um. The highs, yo. I like this shoe for the fact they have used, they use different material, man. The Chanel swoosh right here. It's like that carpet uh, felt. You got some corduroy throughout the shoe. I want to say it's corduroy. Yeah, it feels like it's suede on the back heel. I oh, mean, just the multicolors, man. But that's blue uh, signature. Let's see what. <laughs> so, nah, Benny can't be in the building. All right. So, I got no moderator. All right, no worries, man. Um, anyways, I, I like this shoe, man. I think it's a dope cop. I even cop two of these, or well, two additional extra size 11. This is my true size, size 12. Cop this, I think, on the sneaker app, like hours after release, like 30 or 40 minutes, hours. People didn't believe it. I remember doing that video, and people were like, Yeah, whatever, you're lying, but yes, it's true. Um, and then I found them in a Nike outlet like two weeks later, there was returns because nobody really wanted them. So I just picked them up for, for some of you guys, and I sold them for like I think it was retail. Um, yeah, and both when people bought them, they snatched it off the site. The first sale I ever had, or maybe it could have been the second, they snatched it off the site, man. But I know they're going for crazy numbers now. Well, crazy in the sense of what they, they're you know, what I'm saying worth more over than more than retail at the moment. So that's a good look, anyways. Uh, we gotta move on. We got a lot of shoes, bro. We got a lot of shoes, and that's not even the shoes to the, the wall. Y'all be seeing in the background when I do my videos. Yo, man, I'm sorry I can't get to y'all, y'all questions, man. I see hard pass cop. What's your favorite Jordan one? The band ones. Uh, that is pretty nice. Barcelona. What was it? Barcelona days. Appreciate it. Uh, Leonardo. Uh, what else? What else? Trophy rooms. I got those. I'll bring those up. Jordan one. Ascidians to Chicago are my favorites. That's coming up next. Let's see. Maybe that shoe's coming up next. Maybe not. Because it's another fair shoe. Ah. Okay. You got these pretty things, man. These are dope. I like these, man. I, well, you know, I'm parts of the Jordan 1, so of course I'm going to say it's dope. But patent leather on Jordan 1s, dope. Again, material for me, what does it, man? Not like the freaking best tumble leather. I mean, that's, that plays a part, but it's not like the favorite thing I, I, I like about Jordan 1s. I like when they do different materials and try different things, man. I like this so much I had to get two pairs of them. Um, are they in my possession? They should be around here somewhere. Is it the same shoe? Yes. So it doesn't matter because I can clean that up anyway. So that's one pair. This is a slight flex, um, but I always, always opt to buy two pairs of shoes, man. Always. Jordan 1. Um, what do you call these? Uh, Chicago 2. North Carolina Shot Times. I forget. But yeah, both of them dead stock. Haven't rocked them yet. They came out this year or last year. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, y'all let me know. Comment down below over here. Let me know. All right, so we got to put this back. I hope I'm putting it back in the right box. I don't want two left shoes and whatnot. Boom. We'll finagle this back. And y'all wonder why YouTubers don't like doing collections, yo. I'm doing this freestyling because I got to reorganize the room. And it's still taking a grip. 
just to do this. Um, what we got here? I just show the box. KD, uh, shit, numeral 10, 1, 11. KD 11, uh, still in the box, pristine. Top these recently, like this year, probably like two months ago. Um, I already did a video on it. Y'all like, yo, Frank, why are you buying last year's shoes? Well, because I don't have them. <laughs> First of all, these shoes did came out well over here. And, you know, sometimes basketball shoes get released super early. So these shoes probably could be two years, or at least manufactured two years prior. Uh, but anyways, KD's 11. I love all black shoes, especially hooping. Um, I like these KDs. And I got the new KDs. And the new KDs phenomenal for balling. Since I never owned these and I owned the one before that, the 10s, I was like, yo, let me just buy these and give it a try. I didn't pay too much. I paid like a buck 10 with tax. So have these in the collection. To hoop. This is like a balling shoe for me. Did y'all cop that? Pass? Yay, nay? Um, I think 2019, if it was a tumble leather, it would be definitely cop. If it was that tumble leather. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Tumble leather. I mean, it is what it is. Let me get some room over here. So let me move the stuff so I can start. My couch is behind me. Just give y'all a little room. Um, orientation. Hope I'm sounding good. We got 65 people in the building. Give me that thumbs up, man. Hit that thumbs up for your boy, man, so I can keep going. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it'll help. Uh, KD, the kids, right? These were the first uh, KD 12s that dropped. Uh, they came out last year. I uh, love that color, that vault color. A lot of people think I'm partial to that color because I buy so many things vault. Could be true. Maybe I'm in denial, but I like these, bro. These are dope. Size 12. I originally want to get them to play ball, but I only have one pair, and I copied these in the Nike album, too. Okay, plus 29 plus pack. Well, I was like, nah, I'm holding on to them. And then I found another basketball shoe. Let me see if it's up here. It's not up here. Matter of fact, I got some Colby's here, so I'll show y'all those, too. So that's why I have these. Uh, another Jordan 1. What are these? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Jordan 1. I don't know what these are. The 3.0s. You had the Shatter Backboard. The originals, which everyone loved, which started the whole tumble leather ordeal. Then you have the um the reverse, which was good leather as well. Then you have these, these Halloween joints. I like this shoe so much. I had to buy two pairs. I have two of these in the collection. Actually, part of me reorganizing organizing this closet. I was like, yo, I need to put aside my doubles because I got quite a few and I'd be forgetting where they at. I do keep some in different locations, like downstairs, in case like if I had a fire up here, God forbid. I still have some shoes downstairs that's doubles. So I'll try to separate my doubles just in case something happens to a section of my shoe collection. I still have a second pair. Um, of course, they got to be the must-haves, and that's why I have downstairs the must-haves. Um, anyways, so that's that. And I think we can reorganize this. I should have two more rows. So let's see what we're missing. We got some shoes behind us. Let's check it real quick. Man, I hope you guys appreciate this work because I'm sweating up here, man. Sweating. What we got, man? Oh, I forgot about these. The black toe lows, man. Speaking of the back black toes, well, no. Speaking of the lows, yo, lows are going crazy this year. A lot of them, man. Um, so much so, I was fiending for a pair, man. I actually was able to obtain it. Uh, it should be here shortly. Uh, I might give it away. I'm going to do a big unboxing when I get all my shoes together. But um, this is one of the lows I actually wanted. Um, not DS rocked it several times, man. This is a dope, dope pair of shoes. And they're $90, man. You cannot beat that. Uh, you got the Jordan Wing logo on the back heel. Jordan jump man on the tongue. This is size 12. Um, dope shoe, man. Um, there's some other lows I like. There were some other lows I didn't like until I saw somebody pick the laces, like those uh, mustard yellow looking ones, the one with the suede. Those are dope. I like those. And I even think I, I even like the color, but when they put red laces in them, it changed the whole behavior how I felt, man. I was like, yo, I need those. Oh, yeah, we have 72 people. Sorry if I'm drinking on the job, but um, and I can't get to those comments, man. I don't got no assistant right now. I don't got no admin, so we're going to keep it moving. I'm going to get these shoes out of here. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go through the shoes, and I'll just rearrange it later. So we'll have a little conversation what's left, and then if you guys still stick around, then I'll put stuff back. Um, show you guys what I'm going to do. So I'm going to reorganize this real quick. Unfortunately, this is not no lot, no, no vlog, so I can't fast forward to the next scene, man. This is real life, so you got to wait. One second. All right, yo. And y'all still here, man. 76 rocking us right now. All right, let's bring these down. Woo. These shoes get heavy, man. I'm trying to bring as much as I 
the can out so I can just keep it going. Um, what's good about this? It's therapeutic in a sense. Uh, because sometimes I, ha I haven't seen some of these shoes in a minute. I mean, I could see the box, but never like took them out and touch them until now. Um, I don't think I ever did a Jordan collection. I did pieces, like I said earlier in the video. I did like the the ones, the threes, uh, the fours, um, and pieces. So a lot of these shoes I'm like now seeing for the first time in years. Like those Barcelona days, I ain't see those in three years. Here's another shoe. I wish I didn't see as frequent as I did, but I did. And I'm kind of upset. I ended up with three pairs of these. None of my size. So I had to hold on. Ooh. I had to hold on to at least one, man, size 11. So I'm still kind of down on that, man. These UNC 3s, man. UNC is one of my favorite colors. I mean, I love UNCs. Like UNCs on shoes, white and, and the navy blue, it's like one of my favorites. Here's another favorite of mine. This one is, is a lot accessible, man. The UNC Lowe's. I rocked it for um, me and my wife's baby shower. We know we was having a boy. I rocked it. That was the first time I rocked them. I don't think I pulled them out since. Took the laces out because I had a lot of stains on the shoelaces. Actually, I can still see a few stains here, but this is not DS, man. This is another colorway I like, man. Like, I love UNC colorways. One of my first UNC colorway was the Iversons, the UNC colorway toes. I think those came out 2099, maybe. I was like one of my, that was my favorite shoe by far, bar, bar none at that time. And then it came out with that colorway. I had to have them. I had them. I actually had two pairs. Um, no longer have them in the collection, but that's why I had to jump on these. I was, I mean, UNC is such a, I'm, I'm, I'm just harping on how much I love UNC's, but the UNC color, like I even had the old school 2001 sweater when it came out with these. I bought the sweater to go with this. I have it downstairs. It's an extra, extra large. You know how I was rocking baggy clothes back then. So I still have that sweater, man. Never let go of it. That's what it's probably going on 20 years. Yeah. But anyways, UNC's. Man, this is a lot of work, y'all. You wonder why YouTubers don't do like collection videos. It's just crazy. Uh, what we got here, man. Okay. Um, so every shoe have a story. Story with this is nothing really crazy, other than Jordan brought this shoe back in the 95 playoffs against Orlando Magic in the Eastern Championship game uh, or series which he lost to Nick Anderson. So I'm not even an Orlando Magic fan, even though I'm from the area. But uh, it was crazy that he had these on, man. These are dope shoes. Now, didn't want them then. Didn't care for them. Couldn't afford them, clearly. Uh, was not even in the position to even think about asking my mom for these. But uh, fast forward, you know, what, 12 year, uh, 22 years later, these shoes came out, what, two years ago? Yeah, two years ago, because the rep joints came out last year. Um, but what's significant for these shoes for me now is because when we close on the house, this was the shoes I rock. This current house I'm in, which is well over a year now, I rock these. I rock the the. I bring them out. Oh man, where are they? I just had them on the day. I swear to y'all, I just had these shoes. Oh, here they go. I just had these shoes on the day. So this is the shoe I actually bought when we bought a house. When we was like, all right, this is the house we want. We was talking to the realtor. We were like, yo, we gonna get this. I had these on. Rock. That was the first time I rocked it. Second time, me and my wife, it was uh, New Year's this year, 2020, and I rocked them today. It's the third time on DSDs. Flipped them, flipped, flipped them. Uh, swapped the laces out, man. So these are shoes that are very sentimental to me because it has something to do with a new chapter in my life. So that's right. But no other significant meaning outside of that. But good though. Um, what else we got, man? What's, what's the lid? What's the lid? Oh, okay. Trying to be organized at the same time, which is not even possible. But it's all right, because I'm going to redo this later. Oh, let me just show you all the box. Boom. You already know what this is, man. The PG3. It's in this box. Woo. This is the most recent cop, man. This is the NASA joints, man. I love how crazy this colorway is. This color is crazy. Stick out on the court. I did cop this for basketball purpose only. I did have the original colorway, the orange joints. Got rid of those. But I like this colorway better. I actually got another pair of these. So I have all three NASA joints. I got that colorway. Another joint that I hoop in are these. These joints. Obviously, you can see on the beat, yo. This is one of my go-tos for basketball, man. 
but not my D go tos, but one of them, man. This is a solid pair, uh, the gray Nassau joints. Um, we'll get through this and I'll check the comments real quick. So start leading your comments right now so I can pull up and read them. Um, another PG3. Which one is this? Oh, this is the Mama Metalli joints. Uh, this I found these in the outlet. It was here for fifty-four dollars. I think it was fifty-four with additional twenty percent off. I could be wrong, but it was way below, way, way, way. I paid sixty percent less than what the shoe actually worth. This shoe was really retail like one ten, right? Yeah, they go for one ten. So I paid fifty. Yeah, crazy. My mentality still having a collection. That's gonna be a ball and shoe. But I already got PGs I play ball. That's one of the PGs I play in. I think I got another one. I don't know if it's up here. It's probably not up here. Um, since we talk about ball and shoes, I guess I'm gonna show you all my ball and shoes real quick. Oh, y'all can laugh. Clown me if you want. Go ahead and clown. What else? Go ahead and clown. Do I have another pair? <laughs> But anyways, man, I got two pairs of these, man. I told you I was going to buy it. I think I copped this like $50. The second pair I paid for 60 I said, if it go below 60 I'm going to pull the trigger. Laugh, comment. I know y'all. <laughs> but, yo, the, the colorway, the blocking. The, yo, this, yo, this look like a, a Jordan 1, right? Like a Jordan 1. You can't tell. <laughs> um, I two pairs of those. So I'm going to show y'all my Kobe's basketball shoes. Boom. We got these red joints, these red things. Love them. They even got the cushioning on here. It's crazy. You could take the whole pad out. Like, what's this thick, man? I think it's chunky, man. You you definitely got the bounce on them. Uh, copy some Nike outlet violin for like $60. Here's another Kobe, uh, Kobe 10s, Nike ID joint, the cheddar. Love these. It's size 11 and a half. One thing about Kobe's, man, you got to go true, 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 true to size. Don't play yourself. Do not size down at all. These 11 half and it hurt. Can I play ball, but I will rock these casually. Um, I need to wear thin, thin, thin socks. Here's another Kobe of mine, the Christmas joint. I caught these from L.A., even before I even been to L.A. So back then, Nike could do uh, orders over the phone. I did that Nike hat back like three years ago. How you guys can get shoes because this is one of the shoes I benefited where I actually called the store and set up a over the phone um, uh, phone order. Uh, the homie, uh, I think his name was uh, CJ. He does, he still do YouTube, but he does cologne. I found him on, on Scoop channel. Uh, he did a collection video. That's how most of us find certain people. And uh, he did, I've been following him. And I remember he went to Outlet. He saw these in there. And I was like, yo, what store? What store? I hit him up. He finally told me, he's like, yo, why are you interested? So, yo, because I can call and get these shoes over the phone. He said, bet. He gave it to me and showed enough. I got him. There was 129 plus tax. These are the Kobe 10 Christmas. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. I uh, probably butchered these. Yo, I had these shoes on the site. Nobody wanted them. No one wanted them. And then the tragedy happened. So I took uh, happened. So I took them off. And I'm keeping these in the collection, man. I got a few fits. I'm going to rock with this. Uh, these are the Kobe Potros, man. And that black and purple colorway. Still DS. Copies of Nike Outlet. I paid Probably like $40 for them. But no one wanted them. Here's some other Kobe. So Kobe 10s is my favorite. That's why you see a lot of the silhouette. I love the tooling of the Kobe 10s. There's the leather joints with a hit of uh, gold on the tongue. You know what I'm saying? Also on the lace slits. Love these shoes. All right, Kobe 10. I think these are like the EXTs. Um, I had a white pair, but I got rid of them. Um, but anyways, I'm keeping the black pair. Definitely have been worn. All my Kobe's have been worn except for those Potros. Yeah, except for those pro trolls. Uh, we got some Kyrie's. These are the Kyrie 2 All-Stars. We didn't make the team. You got the removable uh, Belco straps or sticker, whatever you want to call those. Um, I did a video about these. These are the Hardens. This is before he actually got his signature shoe, the Volume 1-2. This is what he played in before he got that. These Adidas, full-length boots, chunky boots on the back heel. Very good basketball shoe, man. I hold on to these. Other crazy light lows. Dirt, dirt cheap price. I think I paid 34 for these. Still have them, man. Still hooping them. Um, those are not basketball. I did bought some LeBrons to hoop in. I got these. These are like what the the tech challenge joints. I don't know. Y'all let me know, man. Uh size 12. Got them to hoop in. We'll see. We'll see if these actually make it on feet and on the court uh in 2020. Um, got some dunks. I love these. These are coffin dunks. These are dope. Um Bumposic University Blue. Uh, foam positive metallic red, the first pair of 2012 joints. 
Oh, here's my other PG. I told you I had another PG, but these are basketball shoes. Yeah, I probably like getting boy. I don't want to see those. And these are the uh acron yeah, acronym, right? Am I saying that right? Yeah, acronym prestos, man. Utility joints, love them. Comfy shoes, bro. Comfy shoes. Now let's take a look at the um Woo, we still got 67 people up in here, man. Y'all peace out. Find it finesse gang. What y'all saying, man? Remember the last stream was uh the crown royal? Yeah, <laughs> last stream was the crown royal Kyle. Uh going to put up something for sale. Nah, I'm just going through my shoe. If I I mean if I find something I don't care for, maybe uh Nitty was slurring his words uh, last live. That's true. Everyone hit that thumbs up. Appreciate it. cool kicks, Leonardo Heat, powder blue, not navy blue. Uh, powder, bro, you can call it whatever, man. Powder blue, navy blue, baby blue, sky blue. Um, I mean, this is the tag on the box, and I think it has something to do with some trademark or some other issues, which I don't even know about. But back then, we used to call it powder blue. And if you know, Jordan has changed, bro. I even see navy blue considered as UNC blue, like, there's no coherent. I can't even speak coherent. Uh, there's no like, um, color pattern. Like, I, I want to challenge Jordan Brown with that. How they know? Because I see certain reds, uh, the turn like call infrared versus varsity red. I'm like, yo, one show you call it X. Now this show you call it a different color, the same color. So whatever, man. Navy blue, powder blue, baby blue, UNC blue, blue to me, my favorite blue. Um, sorry, I got on a tangent on that. Uh, which Jordan one? Which Jordan one do you wear the most? Ah, that's a damn good question. I don't even know which Jordan one I, I rock the most. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. That's like loving all your children. <laughs> I mean, you do love your children. I'm saying like your favorite, rather. Um, I like the press, the press, the oh no, the Pantone Sevens. I do. I had no, I do not have the Pantone Sevens. I had to think about that. Why? Uh, Fall Hall. That's right. Chicago Kicks was good with you, homie. Um, can't go wrong with the white UNC colorway. Gronk. That ten seconds is the difference between. Between W and L, damn, I feel you. True, I'm back. Sneaker review, what's up? I didn't know you left. Uh, <laughs> T's mom's in the building. Uh, hot kicks. Uh, Jason, I know. Are those? Let me put this up. Although, um, I'm those are dope. What you mean, clown? I'm those are dope. I'm. I, I guess you're trying to clown, but yet your sentence structure, unless that's what I said, and you just, I don't know what what were you trying to say. Um, W, what do you think about those 720 um, aerospace? 720 aerospace, 720 aerospace. I built that, that doesn't ring a bell to me, uh, Marvin. So I had no thoughts on that. Uh, PG, OSG, Frank. Uh, PG, OSG. Um, I was assuming point guard, shooting guard. I don't know, Leonardo. Not sure what that means. Haha, <laughs> the leather on them 312s actually is pretty good. Damn right. There are. Uh, yo, pick two. Let me do this. Yo, pick two shoes and let the chat choose which is better. Ah, that's a good game. We could do that. We could probably do it with like Jordan 1s. We could do that. We'll do a game. I just pick up two random boxes, take two, shot, two shoes out, and yeah, we can compete like that. But I also don't want this stream to go crazy long either. So, um, uh, you sell on your website? I do. Um, Got some shoes up right now. I think I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also got some sweaters. Sweaters up as well. Um, you got anything early? LA, uh, LA Clippers colorway. LA Clippers colorway. Nah, that's a tough color. I like that color. I like the LA colors. Um, Clipper colors. Do I got anything like that? Nah, except for those. Nah, nah, I don't. I don't. Um, I'm gonna get back to the shoes real quick, y'all. Frank, I love the uh oh, you you the one that copped it? Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Salute to the homie, man, for copping that uh not safe for work Nike sweat. Nah, I'm stop playing. Uh Nike sportswear shirts. Them shoes, those shirts are sweat are sweaters, sweaters, and pants are oversized. Um, so you got rid like a damn small. I think I, I don't know what size I sold you. What's your name? Um I Prover Drive. Um I prover drive. Interesting. That I'm trying to think which one I kept because I got two of them. I kept one and I sold the other one with tags, brand new. Let me know what which color I sold. You, I mean, what size I sold you, man? Cause them things are like baggy, baggy, man. Them things are huge. Uh, you think those drop front cases are worth ten dollars? So expensive. To yeah, bro. 
I only buy those uh those drop front containers on sale. I know a lot of a lot of people got like hooked up. Yo, why is this? You know what I'm saying? Shine, shine the light on me. Um, I had to fix the light. A lot of people get those um drop front containers on sale, like myself. I'm that's only when when I buy them, I never pay full price for them. I even bought the lids um recently. The lids are dirt cheap. Before you broke the lids, it's a wrap. You got to buy a whole container. But now they start selling the lids, which I which I eventually invested and bought a whole bunch. Um, so yeah, ten dollars a pop, that's crazy. Even at 30 percent off, still crazy. That's like seven dollars plus tax. You want to get six in the in a case. It's tough, man. Um, over the years, now to be fair, I bought a lot of my lids from this cat. I even did a video about him. He was selling his whole shoe collection. He was actually featured on uh Kashi. Oh, I forgot his name. He did, he goes around and do the sneaker uh, collections for like the teams, the athletes, like the college teams, even some NBA players. Forgot his name, George George Coral Coral, I think his name is. Forgot, but um, he was featured on there, and then uh, he bought his sneakers to a local spot in Tampa to consign. And I was in the building while he was there, and I asked him to do an interview, and he did, and do it. We rap, and then he's like, "Yo, I'm even seeing selling my drop top containers." I was like, "Yeah, word, how much?" It's like five dollars. I was like, yo, I take whatever could fit in my car. So I bought majority of these for five dollars, man. And then, you know, like I said, I buy the rest on sale. Yo, somebody, uh, let me get to cool kicks real quick. Uh, the infrared six a while back was light pink facts. Um, then the latest infrared six came out, right? Agree, yeah. Those inconsistencies with the colors, facts. So pretty much, um, the inconsistency for me, what I noticed. It's just with the blues. I'm sh I mean, this other, I mean, you can pick your poison, man. Just pick with shoe and then whatever you favor, I'm sure you go hard in that direction. Mine's is just Jordan 1s, and I love blues. So I noticed different blues like the um the Jordan, I forgot, the 80, 82s or 86, 84s, whatever. The freaking navy blue, the, um, we'll get to that damn shoe here shortly, and I'll bring up the discussion then. But I'm going to continue. Somebody did leave a little don donation. Uh, I appreciate that. The 199 super sticker. I uh, really appreciate that, man. Uh, um, oh, yeah. $5 for the drop top uh, uh, front containers. Yes, it was a deal. How many people we got in the building? We got 60, man. People are falling off, man. I'm sorry if I couldn't keep y'all attention. Maybe I got something to do. Maybe somebody else is live that you rather watch but this is the only way i can show you my sneaker collection if i'm doing a collection video and i'm doing it straight off the dome just from my memory so i don't got time to research the shoes matter of fact some of these shoes i haven't seen in years man so let's get back into it all right up uh, now actually i told you i was gonna bring these boxes down that way i have to go back and forth i don't got russell with no shoes i just boom bring it down oh y'all remember these <laughs> the poor man ovos i think some people call them man Ooh, I got these uh, maybe a month after release. I did cop them day one. I ain't going to lie. I did. But I returned them because I could get them a lot cheaper, and I did, man. I had to get off the shrimp because of that uh, NYC, man. So NYC or New York is just loyal to this, this city, bro. they boroughs, man. So I had to cop this. I had to cop this. I don't know if much people like loyal to Orlando. Like New York is like I'm from Brooklyn like I am to Brooklyn. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing, if that's just a New York thing, or maybe it is where you guys are from too. All right, what we got. Matter of fact, we can probably throw this joint up here. Let's move this. Move that. Move that cheddar out the way. Y'all see that? I don't know if y'all probably can't. Y'all see that? Let me move this out the way. Because people be annoyed when I leave stuff on the screen. Why you don't move it? <laughs> So Marcus Jordan signed this. I have met him several times. He put in their ball on the budget. Welcome to the family. Salute to him. So this is the trophy room pop. One of my few trophy room pops. Uh, cop this like last minute. This shoe did hit for a grip though, man. He wanted three, some three twenty nine, three twenty three probably, and some change came up to a three dot hundred and some. Wow, it was it was a lot. And the t effort I took to make this damn video, I was like, yeah, if I'm gonna spend that much, I'm making. I'm taking days to make this video. So I did a video on it. Um, it's dope though. I like it. Damn, I know three something. I didn't eventually I saw these in the night in the outlet in Chicago for like a buck sixty. I'm like, man, I wish I could wear. I mean, at the same time, there's no way I could have got the shoe though. This was an early 
purchase impulse buy clearly was oh uh, what else man what else hope you guys hear me okay uh what else we got in here man oh yeah what about these man? these are the playoffs nines y'all calling these the playoffs space jams space jam nines yeah i really i got this shoe first of all i don't have it i like the colorway simple black and white i actually forfeit the jordan um 11 space jams copies <laughs> now i don't regret getting the shoe i regret not buying the space Jam. i thought i was like i don't need it i don't care for it dumbass mistake i wish i had that shoe man pop those from finish line still regret it to this day because i want the space jams 11s oh yeah what's up man this was another nike outlet pickup and this came from georgia man Mike Rich did a video uh, disclosing that these shoes in the outlet, they had this and a cigar pair as well. Um, so I hit him up because I know you could do that. It's like, yo, let me get one of those pairs. And it's like, all right, which one you want? I like, ah, I'll take this one. So I got this one. Yo, when this, it was 129.2. Yeah, it was 129. I forget the price. Don't quote me on it. But I got it cheaper than what it was actually was. So what happened is they sent me the shoe and it still had the sensors on there. I'm like, yo, what am I supposed to do with this shoe? So I let him know, like, yo, I was supposed to rock these to a wedding, man. I had hopes of rocking this shoe this weekend. You guys messed it up. So I had to send the, the pair back. They removed it, obviously. And on top of that, they discounted it heavily. So the shoe was under $100. Um, probably took me two weeks, total around time between uh, transit to me, messing up and sending it back to them and then sending it back to me. But it was well worth it, man. Rocked it a couple times. All right. Now we get into these heavy behind boxes, man. Damn, man. I don't think I can pull all these out at once. We're gonna go layer and layer. Um, what else? Anything else? Y'all say anything? Say anything? What up, Frank? What up, Jason Flynn? In your opinion, which shoes are the most slept on? Which shoes is the most slept on? That's a very good question, man. Um, that's real tough, bro. That's a tough question. I really don't know. Uh, reps are going too close. Uh, get oh yeah, reps are getting too close, Andrew. I agree. Um. Uh, what up, Frank? One of the freshest to do it. Appreciate it. Definitely agree, Andrew. Okay, Javon. In your opinion, which shoes? We already talked about that. Jump front. Front are worth it if you wear most of your shoes. Greek. Yeah, because it makes it so much easy accessible if you can just see and like me, I'm guessing, right? But that's part of the fun of it. Part of fun of it because I could pull out shoes and be like, "Yo, I ain't see this shoe in a minute, but I remember I got it." Uh, cop this in Tampa for thirty four dollars. Nike out in Tampa. I walked in there. The one of the managers like, "Yo, what size you wear?" I was like, "Yo, eleven and a half, twelve. I got a shoe for you. This. I'm like, ah, it's cool." I said, "But for thirty four dollars with twenty percent off." I said, "You bet. Damn right. I'm gonna get it." <laughs> and I did. Rocked it a few times. These are Jordan twos, breads, bro. All right. Here's another. Nike order pickup. When well, I say Nike order, because I ordered from um, the phone order. This was a phone order, man. Jumpman Bostic. Yo, it's crazy if I was able to cop shoes from other people's video. And y'all know I'm in the outlets all the time. So y'all like, yo, friend, you got the heat. Yeah, but there's other places that have heats that I want. And this is one of them. Jumpman Bostic did an Instagram video of showing the shoes I was in his outlet. He did that morning. I was able to catch it, watched it, and I was like, yo. Now, this is already after the fact that Nike stopped, excuse me, doing the uh, phone orders. But my homie kind of let me know, Benny, he's like, yo, call, speak to someone of Empower, let them know, yo, you can offer them a gift card and if they will accept that. And one of the guys like, yeah, I could do that. He said, I put the shoes aside. I ordered the gift card, called back, had a little discrepancy between what was actually happening. I spoke to the manager and he ironed it up. Ironed it out. So I was able to get these for $189 and the Laney 14s, which I eventually send to Benny um, for a dope price, man. All because of the phone order, all because of that little hack. The fundamental difference was still using a credit card over the phone. You can just purchase a gift card. And some Nike outlets are still doing that. Even the store in Gainesville, I remember uh, calling them requiring by a shoe. And she asked me, uh, you want to put a hole? I was like, nah, I'm, I think I don't know if I'm gonna make it. She goes, well, you can always phone order if you want. It's like, oh, you do that? Because yeah, just let us know. So you can go and buy a gift card on Nike. Uh, digital digital gift card um actually comes quicker man the only issues with me with this one is that i didn't check my spam folder it went straight to my spam um but if i would have got it that day i would have called back and just offer it over the phone but anyways i don't know if that's still a thing i know if last year it was 
in my particular spot. But that's something you guys can try when everything goes back to normal. See if they're still doing phone orders and see if they'll take the gift card. Anyways, I'm long-winded. I know. It's one of my faults. Uh, but anyways, I got these, man. These are the Confetti 8s. Dope too. I like it. Thanks to Jumpman Bossy by posting that video, Instagram video. I was able to see the shoe and make the purchase. Now, these shoes are getting heavy, bro. People still in the building, man. I appreciate you guys sticking around watching this video. Um... How long is the stream going for, man? It's going for like, probably more, 10 more minutes. I try to rock it out, try to get through all these shoes and answer your questions. But anyways, y'all see it, man, the Jordan 11s. Do I need to take it out the box if I can even open up this damn box? Um, I haven't rocked these yet. I actually wanted to buy two pairs, but my dumb behind was late. Real late, picking up the second pair. Slide out. I mean, do I got to show you guys this? Because it's just too much for me to put back in, man. I mean, y'all know what it is, right? Man, I'll save my energy for the next shoe. But anyways, Jordan 11. Cop this at finish line. I'm going to put that shoe away. I promise you I'm going to show you the one that's most interested. All right, so this is another Jordan 11. This is a 72 and 10 season. Um, you already know about the 72 and 9 season. They fought the championship, but this is 72 and 10. Best season ever in NBA basketball win the championship. The Warriors own the best season ever, but that's also the best season if I win the championship. No salt to them, but it was a good effort. Also, tonight we got that. Recognition for the most wins in the NBA season. Kobe also set scored 60 points in his last outing. That was dope. That was a dope day. hysterical day for both team and player. RIP Kobe. But anyways, 7-2 and 10s. Uh, I this off of Twitter, believe it or not. I'm out selling them. Dirt cheap. I pulled the trigger. I wanted them. Fresh off of vacation. Actually, I ordered for a vacation. Um, I went to, I went to, I went to Barbados, I think. Yeah. I came back and picked them up um, when they came back. But this is the shoe I'm talking about. This shoe. That whole UNC talk. We're going to talk about that real quick. So it says white, university blue, right? University blue. University blue. 56 people in the building. Don't leave, people. Don't leave. Yo, where you? Yo, I hate not knowing how to unhide somebody. There you go. Make it easy. Reggie in the building. Chris in the building. Um, your channel is always on point. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, quite frankly, the reason I'm not making videos is just, it's just, uh, it's not even the time. It's not, like a, it's not that. Cause I'm thinking like, I'm trying to do stuff that people are not doing. I'm not going to fall in the always been that way like i'm not gonna do what everybody's doing like oh this back to school nah nothing against that just i just want to be me i want to do stuff that i like doing if somebody if i do something somebody do it behind me or somebody do something dope and i like cool but the reason why i've been making videos is because i want to think of creative stuff to do and um i was a fairly fun and more simple to do these talking head videos because it's a lot more editing when you gotta do this i'm doing this on the fly so that's good i don't gotta edit boom is up online but um anyways so these are university blue joints right uh, Jordan 11s. Okay, we're gonna take this out. Take the whole thing out. Take the whole thing out. All right. What color is this? University blue? I mean, you call them this university blue? This patent leather right here, the, the most dominant color on the shoe besides the, the white? Or do you want to call that Jumpman university blue? But the shoe says white and university blue. So why is it? And here's the thing. I did this earlier. I I wish I had the box. I can't prove it, but if you guys got this shoe, if you got the box available, go in the box and tell me what color this is. It may say powder blue. It may say university blue. I don't know. I can't remember. But this, this. This 11, this 11, and the nines. Y'all remember the color University Blue Nines? Had similar color blocking, but two different colors. So hence the reason why I said, so you won't correct me in the comments. I'm not sure if you was being you was being funny or whatnot, but I'm just giving you guys my point. Jordan brand changed the colors for the same color. They make a different name for it. But yet they call this University Blue, but the majority of the color on this shoe is Navy Blue. I'm not blind. If you got the shoe, pull it out. Check your box. It says University Blue. And my camera is on, on 780p, so y'all can see that. University Blue. I thought the most dominant color is the color that's going to be on the label. To me, the most dominant color on this is that uh, navy blue. 
not university blue. This is university blue. But then again, this is also called powder blue. So whatever. My point, you know what I'm saying? I hope you get it. Hope you get my point, man. Grab your pairs. Check your labels. I'm not crazy. This is one of my favorite colors. So I was throwing off when I was like, what? I can't call it university blue. I got called it what? But that's navy blue. It's not whatever. I digress. Man, uh, shit, we probably hitting an hour right now, man. But anyways, man, sorry I don't have no condo part. Hold y'all down in the chat while I'm showing you my, my collection. This is the, the shoes I have not shown before. Maybe I have, maybe for pickups, but never like in a collection video. So this is just one way I can give back and show you guys, since a lot of you guys ask for shoes in the collection. I just clear out this whole bottom. The only thing left is the ones. I already showed you my basketball shoes. And over here is my other shoes, and which is a combination of a lot. I would have to rearrange this whole camera, go back and forth, and boxes are not piled up, so I can't. So I think we're at the pinnacle or the pinnacle point of this whole extravaganza. I could show you some other stuff. Uh, you already see the one collection, Air Max collection, y'all saw. Part two is coming. Um, that's it. That's it. Well, I'll tease y'all a little bit more, more, more stuff though, to give y'all a little more insight. Are you ready to talk about those? Look at that. I don't even know what I put and where. Jordan ones again. What shoe is this? I don't even know. Oh, look at that. Okay. Should I, should I, should I start over again? Okay. You see this color? All right. And you see this color, right? So if this is university blue, what color is this? All right, fair. Let's say this is university blue, right? It says, uh, oh, it's sale in Obsidian. Oh, but this is Obsidian, but... These are universally blue. That's crazy. So Obsidian for this joint right here, because I'm assuming this is Obsidian because they're calling the other color universally blue. Unless this is calling, unless they're calling this universe, I'm sorry, Obsidian, and they're calling this universally blue. I doubt it. <laughs> it could be true. But if they did, that's the most ridiculous thought possible. Why would you call it? Whatever. Anyways, uh, Jordan 1's... Um, Anyways, I'm gonna read the comments, man. I'm curious to see what you guys gotta say, man. I'm curious. And if you got that, you gotta, I mean, to make the argument, you also gotta see the nines, because the nines also show you the colorway. Um, yeah, what you guys are saying? Obsidian. Uh dark blue, obsidian. I agree. The dark blue is obsidian. That makes the other color university blue, but in the Jordan Levens, they call in university blue, but the only thing university blue on that shoot is the jump man. So if I'm looking at the label i'm assuming the dominant well i would assume uh, maybe i'm wrong for assuming i thought the dominant color on the label is or the most dominant color on the shoe is actually on the label but then again you know it'll, it'll make too much sense to do it that way maybe i'm just in my own head or how i want things to work uh dark blue is i see and i agree the new royals i gotta get those man the new royal toes and old ones have different names too i got those if i could bring that up um um rick boss <laughs> I'll, I'll do that man we'll come through some ones real quick we still got a few people y'all in here and we're almost creeping up on an hour so that's cool you know what I'm saying? i might retire oh speaking of that damn yo speaking of that damn that was love game rolls right yeah damn yeah i didn't plan this at all man what's what's the odds of me doing that man magic y'all see that but anyways yeah man i want to get those rolls those rolls as well man I did have two pairs of these, did let one go. Kind of regret it. Could have held on to it a little longer. Like I said, I'll try to double up on the Air Jordan 1s, man. Um, the leather on here is not too crazy. Uh, when you see white leather on the toe box, that's not the, the best leather possible. It's not even tumble on the swoosh. It's just a regular Jordan 1. Um, what's cool about this is the color and it's the OG high, in my opinion. Cop this day one. Um, game rules came out 318. That's what, going on two years ago? Damn, two years ago. Damn, these, these shoes are piling up. Um, what else we got here? Oh, got the tip meh rebox. This only rebox in this area right here. The other rebox is in my other closet. Uh, this uh, this dip, dip set joints, the purple joints, the cam joints. Top this from the homie. The homie looked out and bless your boy. You know who you are. Look at that, man. Gucci, man. 
I even like the joints that's coming out recently, man. I got a few of these uh questions, man. One thing about them is kind of tight through hurts your feet. It's not as comfortable. I still play a lot of ball in those shoes, man. It's like one of my favorite balling shoes. Yeah, I'm sorry to if that paper's killing the mic, man. I apologize. Just realized there's a whole hour in and I'm doing that in your ear, man. But anyways, what else we got, man? What else we got? I do reviews and on feats. Okay, Trending UK, that's what's up. T-Rex clean. Frank's thinking about getting some Jordan 1s. What do you think about the silver? Okay, think about the silver color. Wait, bro, silver colorway is cool. I don't know if any Jordan 1 hides with a silver colorway. I know a lot of mids with a silver colorway, but I could be wrong. Um, oh, come along, the Italy joints. Actually, really, up to this moment, right before I turned the camera and do this video, when I was kind of organizing the closet, and I was like, yo, I'm going to turn this camera on. I had second thoughts about these. Now, when I got this shoe, I wasn't, wasn't a fan. Uh, the Milan joints. Now, the colorway is cool. These these light tones is dope. Um, I like the swoosh. The material on the side panel is great. But I didn't like, because what fooled me was the, the toe box area. I thought this was going to be like corduroy. Cause look at the ridges in here, man. So it kind of give me that, that psychalide feeling when I got them in hand. But outside of that, man, that's the only thing that threw me off. Maybe I had uh, false expectations when I got this shoe, but that was it. But after holding them today, I'm like, yo, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these, man. Size 12 copies on the restock, I think, um, on Nike website. Speaking of Nike website, how many guys going after those five reds tomorrow? Jordan 5s, man. I missed this the drop, the early drop, as always. Nike has not been showing me any love this year. And no fault to them. I mean, I've been winning a lot, man. Like, the shoes up here, I just, I was just winning. Like, yo, my first Jordan 1 ever, not ever, period, but on the sneaker app was the bands. I got, to, I was blessed with that, blessed with Travis Scott, blessed with so many pairs, man. So, it's only right that people get their turn, man. So, I guess I got to take a back seat. You know what I mean? It's like a round robin. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to get back in line. And then you get yourself back, get back in queue, and then you get yourself back to the top of the queue where you start picking up everything. But it is what it is. But I feel like I'm not getting love. Like even GR shoes, man. Like I had to fight for those um game rolls. I didn't I didn't get that off of, of Nike, man. Not at all. Anyways, we'll keep it moving. I'll try to make it real quick, make it a little rapid, real quick. We got 63 people in the building. Yo, if y'all not pulling up, man, I've been showing you my entire Jordan sneaker collection that I haven't did a video on. This is the only way. Look at that. I'm doing this freestyling. And it's still taking an hour just to go through stuff. Now, I know I'm talking that just for entertainment purposes. I'm also giving you a story so I can elaborate a little bit longer on these shoes. But it's just the nature of the beast, man. Now, how many of y'all got these fly knits? What kind of feathers, bro? <laughs> Pan American Jordan 1 fly knits. Pan African. Yeah. I'm even halfway through this and I'm tripping. But anyways, I like this. Multicolor. I rocked this literally to go and watch Black Panther. No lie. <laughs> I literally did bust this shoe out. Have I busted, busted out since? Can't remember. Did cop it in February. Um, Black Kirsty Munch joints, man. Dope shoe. Happy to have it. Let's keep going. I mean, why y'all here? Y'all still rocking out? 61 people in the building? Let's keep going, man. Keep going. Here's a second pair of those uh, 312 Chicago's. Like Cool Kick says, lay, lay on here is crazy. I'm not fancy, fancy with the straps, so maybe I figure out how I can move the straps since I got two pairs. So I'm probably, you know what? Maybe I'll be a project I do, man. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the strap on one of them. Both of them did stop. What else? Let me move this battery so I can sit some comfortably on that. Oh, man. What we got here? Oh, show you the box real quick. Jordan Fall. Size 12, Jordan 1. Obviously, this whole area is Jordan 1. It's like right to the wall, literally. And then I got some in the, in the cases. Um, Y'all remember these? Copies in Tampa for a good price. I think it was $89. These are the silver joint. Yo, somebody did ask me about the silver Jordans. Now, these is like considered the high OGs, but this have the jump man on the back heel. The, the suede on here is crazy. It's one solid color. They came in like threes. They had this, the blue, and the red. I rocked every pair except for this pair, man. So DS. Um, I'm going to try not to go through my collection again for Jordan 1s because there's a video out for that. If you guys want to watch it, move my hats. If you guys want to watch it, um, just go on my channel and search in my channel. Or you can Google Google. Or, yeah, you can do that too. But you can go on YouTube and just type in uh, Biggest Jordan 1 Collection on YouTube. And hence... My video, you will see me, my mug, sitting down, pointing at the shoes, man. 
So Benny helped me record that. And that is in 4K too, man. So y'all want to see some up close. There you go. Anyway, so you got the uh, Royals, man. These went up crazy, man. You could copy these in the outlet for like $60, $70, man. I had like three pairs of these. Now I'm down to one. I actually was going to get rid of it because I don't see myself rocking it because I got the Storm Blues and I like that a lot better than this one. I'm not fancy with this uh, plastic leather. People think this leather is crazy. To me, it's not. It's just regular leather or like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll make it a little different. No. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Got it for dirt price. Dirt cheap price. Um, let me show you some shoes, some Jordan ones that you probably have not seen. If you guys favor my channel a lot, you've probably seen some of these shoes. So I'm gonna see if I can pull some shoes that you haven't seen. Uh fearless box for red joints. So I can tell about the red. Um, which I already shown these, so we'll skip over this. Um let's see what have I not shown. Oh, you guys will be interested in this. Let me y'all cop this joint. Let me y'all cop these, bro. These, these LA Tasha joints, man. Um, these are dope. I like them, man. I'm gonna keep them like this, not dead stock <laughs> for anyone who wanna come in and clown. But I I'm like I'm not gonna intentionally remove the paint from them. Let it age um, intentionally and see what they look afterwards, man. I got two pairs of these, man. I may get rid of one of them though. Both sides for. Um, what else I can show y'all that you haven't seen? That really wasn't one. That's something you guys could see by watching my other video, the collection video. Um, that was in my collection video. Here's a shoe we'll talk about. Check this out. Air Jordan One, right? Part of the Yang Yang. The other Yang, the Yang, or I don't know, the Yang or the Yang, whatever. Was the uh, the white pair? I got the black pair. I got both actually. Now I did bought two pairs. The reason why? Let's see if the receipts in here. It is not. The reason why? Because I was able to get a second pair for twenty four dollars. I know a lot of y'all don't believe me. Go on my channel. Type in twenty four Jordan twenty four dollars Jordan ones. A Jordan one for twenty four dollars. I bought two pairs. They had a plethora of them, man. Not only was there twenty four, it was additional twenty percent off on top of that. I believe. Don't quote me on it, but watch that video and I'll disclose. I think it was because I think on the thumbnail I actually said 20% off. But I bought a pair, both two, I doubled up essentially. The original pair I paid like a buck 20, but then these pairs I paid 34 total out the door. Um, but yeah, man. Then I saw like two months later, Puffy bought the exact same shoe, but over retail on um Joe LaPuma uh sneaker shopping. Yeah. And Nike had a full size run of these. Or Nike outlet had a full side run. Like the guy was asking, like, yo, that's it. That's all you want. I was like, yeah. Cause I hit up a few people. I said, I know Benny probably watching is like, yo, you hit me up. But I did have a few YouTubers up say they wanted the decline. I didn't, I didn't even hit my homie up because I was like, ah, oh, he probably don't want him. But yeah, there was multiple pairs. I was like, oh, I'm good. No, I don't need that many pairs. I'm good. Anyway, so they got that little uh that little feature, little glitter feature that comes with these shoes for not wearing them for so long. That's what happens, man. Your shoes were transformed with that fungus, man. Yeah, wear your shoes to keep that off, man. That means you got to wear that shoe every day just so it doesn't do that. I don't know what happened, though. You probably F the shoe up before the shoe look. I read my shoe look crazy to me F my shoes up. But that's another point, too, I was making. Like, I got so many doubles. And the reason why I copped them is just, just, just to hold, man, just in case something happens to one pair. But my experience of, of wearing shoes and even playing basketball, I don't wear the same shoe enough where I'm actually going to mess it up. Like my Jordan ones, which I do wear a lot, the bands, I got two pairs of those. And it's still in pristine conditions. Those top threes, I rocked them three times in one year and three years since they came out. Um, some of these shoes. This shoe I have for four or five years. I haven't rocked, I'm gonna rock it twice. So there's really no need to double up when you have a quantity of shoes. You're not wearing the same shoe that frequently. So it's not the chance of it ruining is, is very hard. I mean, if you keep your shoes in rotation, they can last you a long time. So I actually kind of when I said I was not going to double up, then I reneged. Like, Jordan 1s is just like, I got to have it, man. All right. We at 109. 65 people in the building. Thank you guys for pulling up. If you got any questions, uh, $20 Jays, that's insane. I know. You got, yo, check that video out, man. It was in the Nike outlet in Tampa. I think it was in Bradenton Bray, Bray or Brandon. Are you from Tampa? You know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, man, it was crazy. $24, man. That was the same day I copped those Jordan 2s I told y'all. Uh, the breads for $34 out the door with 20% off. I went to that store first, got those shoes. Then I went to Bradenton and Brandon. Uh, it was literally an hour from that spot. 
and I ran to those. Like it was just a gift, man. It's like, yo, what? Thirty-four dollars? They were just trying to give them away, man. And my dumb behind just said, nah, I'm good. I'll just take my size. I'll just be on my way. <laughs> oh man. Um, how many guys got this book, man? Oh, I'm looking for another book. I'm looking for a more updated book, man. This I think this was a Kickstarter project, which is dope. Guy got funded. I think he needed 10, 11 grand to make a type of uh, book like this. I'll be interested to see if there's any updated books out there similar to this. I, I have the whole history of different Jordans. I'm curious to see. Let me know if you guys could find uh, or books or know of any books. Leave in the comment section below or hit me up on um, IG, Fall Hall, um, or leave in the comment. However, all my social media will be in the description. So you guys can reach out there. Let me know what books out there that's current, like 2018 and newer. So that way I can get an idea what came out and see all the updated shoes, man. Because I like these books, man. They're very, very dope, man. You get to see the history, what shoes look like. Like, oh, shit, I don't have that. Let me, and then you can start for it. You know what I mean? Like, go hunting for it. And that's part of, like, own these shoes too, man, is the hunt. That's why I go to the outlets a lot. It's about the hunt, man. You never know what you're going to find, man. Every day is different. Um, some days are great, better than others. And other days are, like, I can't believe it happened. Like, those Jordan. Like, I haven't had a day like that in a minute. Those Jordans are uh, yin and yang. Yo, what I said, I hate. Okay. Um, I wish I, I can get those. Uh, what up with your boy? Who's this? Who this? Bryson, grandma. Well, but well, yeah, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building. That's right. When I'm outside, I'm still in the building. When I'm in the closet, I'm in the sinker office. <laughs> oh, that was corny. That was corny. That was corny. That was corny. Uh, Connor, what he says. Best part about having a collection, the shoes starts to take care of themselves, definitely inc uh, increase their shelf life. I agree. Um, Enzo, 666. You think Jordan 1 mids are worth it? Can't afford the high top. Theoretically, man, the Jordan 1 mids start at like 120, but 30 max. Sometimes you can buy a Jordan 1 high for the equivalent of a new Jordan 1 mid because prices come down. Right now, you can get those um, satin ones. Uh, I think our finish line was using this, the cold spring 30. If you guys are not in the know, uh, I'll just give you guys a few tips, man. This is personally for me. I follow a few sneaker um, accounts, uh, Twitter apps, uh, especially Twitter. I don't even use Twitter like that, but I'm on Twitter just for the deals. Uh, Soul Links, J23, um, some other few players in the game, they tweet out. I'm talking about minutes up, up. Sometimes they're literally concurrently. You'll get multiple tweets from both accounts. Uh, and it's pretty much the same information. So if you miss one account, if Twitter decides not to show you that post, that moment, at least you get hit by the other account. And what they do is go through and kind of aggregate all the sales on on these websites for you, man. So that's that's half the know. Uh, I mean, I'd be up at two o'clock in the morning and Nike will have a sale because, you know, when it hits uh, one, 12 o'clock Pacific time, they may show a 30 percent off. Well, you won't know that until you wake up and then half the shoes will be gone. So they're always updated. So that's how I get some of these sales, man. I, I was able to take advantage of a few sales, sales recently. But right now, finish line, that's a get that out of the way, right? That's how, how I get my information. Finish line have something called Spring 30. That's the, the checkout um, code you use. And they had a ton of stuff on there. Like I mentioned earlier, Jordan 34 is Black Cats. That was one of them. They got the PGs right now, the PG Fords for $54. They got other pairs of shoes, like you can get the Air Max 90s. Now, some shoes quantities is lower than others. I mean, they got aces. You, whatever you want for 30% off, I think that's great. Now, other stores have like finish line and foot action will have eventually 25% off, and that's periodically throughout the week. That's hit and miss. There's no rhyme or reason how that stuff works. It just it just does. You just got to be up on on those um, aggregators on Twitter. Like I said, Soul Link, J23. J23, you got to pay for it. But if you get the um, the Twitter account, he gives the exact same information. Now, he may be partial to his app because you got to pay for it. So you may... You may tweet it out a couple seconds later, like nanoseconds to you is not it's not a big deal, but in the naked eye, nanoseconds is a big deal in the computer world, man. That's a that's a click away from being on time. So, anyways, I digress on that. 75 people in the building. As soon as I'm about to stop, y'all keep coming in, man. Man, I gotta keep going. Should I keep going? Um, so yeah, answer your question about the mid mids. You can get mids for the price of our uh, Jordan Jordan one highs. Since you said you can't afford Jordan one highs, you can definitely get affordable price, roughly around the mids. And then when the mids go on sale, they're even down cheaper. So you're below hundred dollars for a uh, on sale mid. Um, some mids are going crazy right now, like the Chicago one mids, which I passed on several times. They restocked that several times, and it sell out every time. Um, cool to the people who needs it. I don't have a Chicago one in the collection. That's one Jordan one that escapes me. 
that I wish I have. I'm just patiently waiting for them to restock, uh, not restock, but that shoe came out five years ago, 2015. I just want them to remaster it with a good leather, which I know they can't because it's going to be a white leather opposed to seal. Seal is usually the best leather on Jordan 1s when you see the word seal. Uh, very tough to see a very good grain quality of white leather on the toe box for Jordan 1. That's just my experience, just my thought, my history on the Jordan 1s. Now, back to the shoes, man. I'm sorry um, if I answered your question. So these joints, y'all remember these, the 1.0s? Yes, your boy got two pairs. Cop these when it first came out, man. Cop one off of Foot Locker, and I cop one from uh, Jimmy Jazz. Now, Jimmy Jazz, I was single file in line, patiently. I was behind a young lady who was there for her boyfriend. The nerve of that dude sending his girlfriend to go pick up a pair of shoes. I'll never do that to my wife. Like, be realistically, babe, you watch it. It's because I don't trust <laughs> you not being as aggressive as a guy would. Some guys would probably step on a woman. I don't know. I'm just being partial to being in the in these streets trying to get these shoes, man. People are animals, man. So one, I won't send her out there for that purpose alone because unless she's with me, that'd be cool. But nah, I just can't. Now I will have a jump on the sneaker app and see if she could buy a purchase or a temp a purchase for me or a win on the sneaker app, which she hasn't to this day. She did get me the second pair of Travis Scott's. Or was it the or was it those? But any which way, she had one pair of shoes, but not in person. Um, anyway, I was behind her, single file. Uh, just calling people in, people getting shoes. Now their resellers could have come up with small size. So that's great for me. Cause and she was right in front of me. And she's like, can I get a size 11? I'm like, man, because I knew there was only one size 11 and a half, man. Jay, if you're watching this, man, appreciate you letting me know the details. Um, so I like this close. But anyways, cop this. And um, I also copped the other pair for a singer app. So I'm Gucci. Two pairs still in the collection. DS. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Brooklyn Cats. What else? Oh, man. Got two pairs of this. I'm glad I'm seeing my doubles because now I can parse my doubles, set them aside. Two pairs of these. Uh, this one was purchased from Champs. That means I paid full retail on this, bro. Yep, I did. Now, I've seen this in Foot Locker, not Foot Locker, um, Nike Outlet several times, man. I actually bought a second pair from the Nike Outlet. Look at the triple laces on that. You know what I'm saying? Your pairs don't look like this, triple laces. And also a little, little note, your laces should be on the left-hand side. As I thought, and then I owned another pair, and it was on the right-hand side. I forgot what shoe it was, but it was one shoe in my collection that was on the other side. And I got two pairs of the same shoes, and I was able to verify those shoes came with the laces on the right-hand side, or the right shoe, rather. So ah, I wish I could say with, certain, with, with some confidence that the Jordan laces should always be on the left side, but I own shoes. Unless my shoes were fake, but all my Jordans, one, come from... Retail stories, man. So, anyways, that's that. 86 people in the building, man. Y'all do not want me to quit, man. As soon as y'all start, like, you know, going to bed, I would have wrapped it up. But y'all keep coming in, man. So, I got I to keep going. I keep going. Um, Jordan 1s, man. Maybe I can clean up and probably show you some stuff in there. There's some other stuff in there I haven't shown yet. What up? What up? Oh, here's a second pair of these you already saw. See, laces on the left hand side. Let's see. Let's let's keep it tally, man. So that's laces on the left hand side. Um, second pair. I need to know because I need to stack my doubles. So that's two of those. Um, ooh, ooh. I don't know why I'm doing my Jordan One collection over, man. But it just bring back memories, man. Y'all remember this? Ah, uh, the Pong, I think it's called. I think uh, Latin, Latin something. I don't know the details. Now, this shoe I did cop from StockX. I know y'all like, what, really? Yeah, I bought a shoe from StockX. I had to get it because there's no other way I could have got this shoe. And I know I just said a minute ago, all my shoes come from a retail store. I mean, that's true, but not every shoe I can get. So 95% of my shoes come from the retail store. I bought a few shoes from StockX. This is one of the Jordan ones I did. I bought a 14, I bought a four, but I think it's the only Jordan one I bought from StockX. Love that shoe. I don't know where I'm gonna rock it. Definitely wanna rock it though. Let me just straighten this out. Man, I'm probably gonna bend the corner, and get some shoes out the um, shelf, cause I'll be just showing you my Jordan one collection. And there's a few new joints in here, but I gotta go through a lot to show you those shoes. 
Oh, I, I mean, I already, you already seen these. These are the Jita joints. Um, this shoe has a crazy release because they re released these and it was glitching. I mean, the shipping was delayed. People orders got canceled. And then they finally restocked them. No one cared for them, though. Um, you already know what this is. I mean, I mean, look at the box, right? Look at the box, bro. Look at the box. Wendy's off the sneakers, bro. Lucky. Lucky. Size 12. My size. Yo, it's probably, if not the most expensive, if that's not the most expensive, these are the most expensive. If that's not the most expensive, shit, man. Reach, reach this gotta be the most expensive. Is that if this is not the most expensive? Now nah, I'm just playing. I, I don't think I have any more shoes other than these three joints. That's some guaps, man. This is damn near touching the total line of a thousand dollars, man. Right here, was this three three racks in my hand? Yeah, all DS. You know what I'm saying? All DS. Uh. I thought I was going to rock these shoes for when I closed on the house, but I didn't. I bust out the, the 11s on closing day. So these still have to look. I still have to look for a special occasion to rock these joints. DS. Pop these off the sneakers. Um, it's crazy how, like, these these was a sis, bro. This was an alley, bro. Straight love, man. I was in I was in England when these came out, and I had no, one. first and foremost, I had no intention of getting these shoes. And then um, the homie did a video. I was like, yo, can you reach out? He goes, yo, if, I, if they let me buy more than one. And he's just like, yo, let me know. Say say less. And shoot him the money. And he pulled up and cop, man. I could have got two pairs probably, but, you know I mean? I don't know if he would have, you know, would have hustled that hard. But man, I appreciate him for doing that too, man. Looked out. He ain't had to, man. These was going for $1,700 at one point in time. $1,700. But as always... You know what I'm saying? You win some, you lose some, right? The moments like those is where I like, you know, with sneaker apps, like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. If I don't win everything on sneakers, it's not a big deal. I still get blessed some way, somehow, some form. Oh, man, what else we have? This something new? Yes, this is something new. All right. All right, we'll move on to another shoe. Um, we'll skip that. We'll skip that. Oh, let's talk about these. Yo, I did so well, yo. Even dropping shoes. Y'all know I drop shoes in the Nike outlet, man. Oh, somebody climb me on that. Oh, no, I said shit. We up to 80 people off white. It's on my list. That's what's up, Flint. How you feel? The Air Force Twos. Air Force Twos. I stopped rocking Air Forces in a minute. Um, uh, what else? What else? Uh, you lift out those Travis Fords. Damn, you right. Bro, salute the conf uh, cool kicks, bro. Oh, you're right, but they're dearly, they ain't, they ain't touching. Oh, shit, the ones. Yo, my, my subs know me better than I know myself. They know my collections. I thought you were talking about the fours, but now I remember the ones. How can I forget? The, man, we're going we, we gonna, to we'll wrap it up here, and we'll start pulling some other shoes off this right here. I'm only doing this because I don't want to be messy, man. I'm a messy person. Not dirty, but messy. I'll leave stuff where it's at. So I had to pick this up. This is the most recent. Um, the 2.0s. Again, this love the mind of the game royals. Same color pattern. Same color blocking. Just where you see purple, said blue. Actually, when I did a comparison video, I actually compared not these with, well, I did compare these with the 1.0s. Also, more than likely or intentionally favored the royal. Uh, the game rolls with this pair. Like to me, that's the most symbolic of the two. Um, this pair in the world in the in game rolls, not the 1.0s. If you haven't seen that video, go and see that video. Um, got two pairs of those, even though sneakers didn't show me love. DTLR show me love, and that may be my go-to if I get if I or rather if I struck out tomorrow for those fives. Man. But anyways, man, I got this barrier right here. I'm gonna try to slim this down so I can get around the corner. What else is back here? Uh, those are cool. Don't need to talk about those though. And um, it's got this little wall right here. Uh, actually, we'll set this down because I don't need to. 
Damn, I got a lot of cleaning to do after this, man. Do you see how hard it can be to do these videos? All right, so actually, if I just clear this out, I can probably pull the shoes quicker. Give me one second, y'all. Um, say five people in the building. Don't go nowhere. Uh, your boy's gonna make some make a little path so I can have access to this, and I'll show you some shoes from the wall. And that's gonna be my collection video, man. So I might retitle retitle this video my collection live on YouTube. Friday night edition. All right, y'all might th turn the light on for a little bit. Damn, all these shoes on the floor, man. Damn it, man. I got a lot of cleaning to do. I got a lot of cleaning to do. I got a lot of cleaning to do. Got a lot of reorganizing to do. A lot of reorganizing to do. All right, making some room. Yo, how many people doing a collection video like this live, man? Uncut, no edits, straight raw. Wish I could make a video like this. But we try for perfection, man. So that's why we edit our stuff up. You know I'm saying? Almost done, y'all. I promise you. Got a lot of cleaning to do. Got a lot of cleaning to do. Got a lot of cleaning to do. It's a lot of mess. It's a whole lot of mess. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, man, I got shoes off the cases. Oh, all right, I'm done, y'all. Woo! My back hurt, bro. Man, seven people in the building. I know y'all was gonna leave. We'll keep this joint right here. I look fancy right there, right? Let's let's, let's do something like this, huh? A little slight flex. All right. Woo! What about these? What about these joints, man? Y'all remember this pack? Oh, let me get the lighting right. Got a lot of cleaning to do. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, DS. This came in a pack. Whew, I'm winded, yo. Winded. So it's like a fly weave, I believe, on this shoe. It's supposed to resemble the other shoe. The other shoe in this pack was a 29. So the 29 got the makeup, well, the material of the, the one, and the one got the material of the 29. Um, I bought this separately. Cop it from Soul Stills. From Cali, you know how they have the eBay, the eBay sales. So I copied from them several years back. One of the shoe, man. It's one of the unique shoes. This is one cohesive piece, if y'all could tell. Uh, there's no stitching in the shoe. It's, all, it just, it's marked like it is. It's one whole piece, man. One solid upper. Little tight shoe. DS like that milky outsole. Never been worn. I clearly won't lick this shoe because I don't know who actually owned it prior to me. Nike on the tongue. One of the dopest shoes in my collection, man. I don't even know when I would rock this, bro. Don't know. What else we got? What else we got? Um, let's talk about these real quick, man. I mean, y'all got these, man. Uh, quick story about this. I copied these from Kith, New York. Week after their release. They sold out everywhere, apparently, allegedly. And I was in New York, and I went to... Bought two shoes that day. Bought these from um, Mercer. Uh, one Mercer um, in Manhattan, and then down the street was Kith. When when in the building they had these. Now I also bought um, a leather crimper so I could put the holes in there, but I didn't have the uh, the balls to do it. I didn't do it. That's something I want to do. I, I do want to do it. I even bought the the clips that matches that as well. That color, that color green, so I can have it at the lace a lace lock rather, man. But yeah, still DS leather's crazy. Nike on the back. Nice shoe. What else do I have in the collection? The collection? Oh, yeah. We talked about these. We'll just give y'all a quick snippet. This is the shoe I told y'all about. It had, they came out three colorways, the gray, the red, and the blue. These are it. Rock these two already. Air Jordan 1 highs. Even though they have the Jordan on the back heel of the shoe. Um, another slept on shoe for the people who... Don't like mids? I like this shoe, man. This is a mid, a gold and black and white, man. 
Slept on shoe, man. This shoe's not even going over crazy over retail. It's one of the shoes I feel people's gonna regret not having. Simple classic shoe, man. I love this shoe. Now I wish the toe box could be. Here I am trying to change stuff, man. Either you like it or you don't. But this shoe is dope. But yeah, I like the fact on Jordan Brown on the back here. What else? What else? What 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 else? Alright. Yo, salute to the homie Rita Rede. I'll say that because I don't know the right pronunciation. Red. Yo, he sent me these shoes from Holland, man. It got the free throw line in it, on it, underneath it. That's where Jordan, you know what I'm saying? He was running and he uh he stepped on the line when he took off, bro. And um, yeah, he still won a slam dunk contest, but that's why they played him and put that underneath it. Just a reminder, Jordan, you didn't actually, your line wasn't hit. You know what I'm saying? The line, the line's here. You didn't jump here. You Jump right on it and you took off, but you made the dunk. Salute to him. Uh, salute to Red A for sending me these shoes. I actually sent me 11 because he bought two pairs and none of them was both of us this size. I think he got rid of one. And he sent me one um because I was gonna do a, a size swap and I did. I went to LA, took my talents to San Francisco to the homie Benny. Uh we went to Sneaker Con. Uh, some cat was selling this. I think I paid like 20 or 25 dollars uh, to do a size swap, man. So that's how I got these these Air Jordan 1 free throws. And speaking of size swap, blah, blah. Y'all see this shoe, right? This was another size swap shoe. Y'all want to hear a quick story? Where y'all think I got this, man? I'm going to give y'all a minute. Comment in the section where you think I purchased this shoe. If you're a fan of the channel, you already know. If you're not, you want to take a guess, you're not going to guess. But I'm going to read the comments real quick. I'm going to give y'all like a minute. Let me know where you think I got this shoe. Remember, it's a size swap, but the origin of where I picked this shoe up, how much I paid, let me know. It's a story behind it, and I'm willing to share it. So I'm gonna give y'all a minute. Put play up, uh, do, do. play that Jeopardy music, yo. Cue the Jeopardy music. Where my drink at? Give me a little trivia. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all even comment? Y'all playing me? Y'all even, even commenting in the in the comments? <laughs> He's just like, yo, comment. No one comment. Uh, retail. Uh, he said, retail, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Somebody said, all right, let's, 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 let's cue. Okay, wow. Yeah, actually, is playing along. All right. Soldier, he said, Nike outlet. The homie said, Nike outlet. Flint, silence, Nike outlet. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, somebody said, America, Muscle says, eBay, Kyle, outlet. So I'm saying the consistency is outlet. International Drive Outlet Mall. Wow, someone's even detailed with it, bro. Yo, whoever said is it Foot Locker? Uh, let me just remove this. For all my fans, supporters, true watchers, or just probably guests pulled up for the first time. You guys are right. Who said Nike Outlet? Clarence Store. Not International Drive, though. The old joint in Kissimmee. Yes, I paid retail game for it. Yes, it was in the outlet. No flex. I'm not trying to stunt. I'm not making a video. I'm not hyping it up. Actually, the video out. I talk about it. I actually did a video about that whole thing. But here's my story. Here's the short version. So this wasn't the only shoe in there. You had these. You had these. <laughs> you had these. That's so sad. You had the Jordan um, 11s. Uh, you had the... Uh, um, yeah, my mind's going to blank. I got the shoe in my head. I actually know the word, but I'm thinking something else. So you had the Gatorade Sixes, you had the Shadow Tens, you had the International Threes. Um, what else you had? The Worlds, like I show you, those was, there was there. You could have picked up as many of those, but these were only uh, you only could buy one of these. Um, you also had another pair of shoes I got over there. Um, the Jordan Three Tinkers, the very first colorway. They had those multiple sizes. So yeah. So they had a, a few signature shoes, like, you know, shoes, hype shoes, slightly hype, Jordan 11, sold out shoes. They had them there. And they had these. They had a majority of these there. The whole back wall is full of them. I mean, it doesn't take a scientist, mathematician, maybe a sixth grader, you know what I'm saying? Algebra, basic arithmetic, to realize, yo, that line is long. They only got this amount of pairs. I could try my luck, but I'm not going to get it. So I went in, there was a second line. So there was a, 
line to my right was a line to my left. Line to the right was the people lined up for this shoe. Probably this and other pairs of shoes. Uh, the line to the left was just regular people, tourists. Now I jumped in the tourist line. There's only five of us. I was like, at least I get in the store and probably like sneak my way around and get in a line and kind of skip. You know what I'm saying? I thought about it, but it didn't happen. Got in line that had it well manicured. Yeah, no one was was gonna maneuver and get get ahead. There ain't no you know who's in what line. There ain't no the order. So whatever. I left the store. I give up. I left. I went to the International Drive clearance store. I was about to pick up a pair. This is what did it for me. I was about to pick up a pair of Air Jordan 7. Uh, what were they? They were white. I'm trying to think of the name. It was like a white color. It wasn't the Pantones. Roughly around when the Pantones came out, there was Platinum. Air Jordan 7 Platinum. I had them in hand. It was 129 with 20% off. And I was like, yo, you drove an hour and a half for this shoe or did you drove an hour and a half for the other shoe? I was like, I don't have for this shoe. Well, get your butt back over there. So I jump in the car and I call it. And I already knew these sold out. Second people in the building. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up, y'all. I'll give y'all a little quick story. I'll bring, probably bring a few more shoes out and then we'll wrap it up. Um, so if y'all listening, right? So I was like, yo, these, these, these are gone. So I hit up uh, Nike. I was like, yo, um, I don't know if you guys got any shoes on. Um, I want to know if you guys got the Air Jordan 10 Shadows. Remember I told you the Shadows 10s was there, the 3s was there, the 11s was there. So I figure I kind of went dwindled down a list like priority, second, priority, third, and what people probably don't want. So I said, all shoes, no one's going to get the, the 10s, the Shadow 10s. No, of course not. Why? You got Travis Scott's. Why would the 10s not be there? So the first thing I asked, you got any 10s? And she's like, uh, nope, look like we all sold out. And I already, my mind, I already, at that point, I got down. I was like, well, shit, there ain't no 10s. There ain't nothing else. I said, by any chance, will you have any Travis Scott's left? She's like, um, yeah, we got a few pairs left. I'm like, what the, f- what? I said, you got a few pairs left? He goes, yeah. I said, you got no 10s, but you got Travis Scott's? She goes, yeah, there's a few here. I said, can you hold? She goes, no, nah, we can't hold, but uh, there's nobody in the line, so you can come come through and pick them up. I'll be over there. It took me about 25 minutes to get over there, jumped in, over there, got in line. The line was long, though. But the people in line was just regular tourists, and they were not after the shoes. There were six pairs left, but all six were size 11. Your boy picked up that pair. I did not get no 10s, but who cares at this point? I got the Air Jordan 1 Royals. I was able to buy two pairs of those, and the Travis Scott didn't limit you for the shoes that was in the store, just the shoes behind the counter. So you wouldn't get one signature shoe. This was it. Two Royals was for me. Blessings. So then I was like, oh. I got the 11. Now I got to make a maneuver. Like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get my size? Hit up the homie at Kicks for Us. Um, talk to him. I actually interviewed him, too. We, all, we did a, a little interview session. I told him I was coming through to pick him up. He was in the building, and uh, he showed me. He, he, he sold it to me for a low price. So essentially what he did, he upsized me for a little for a little bit of cash. So I'm not going to disclose it because his lookout clear. It's not what he charged when he does an upsize. It also depends on the size or whatever. So I went from 11 to a 12 for the blessings of him. He took care of it. Then he did an interview with me. So salute the kicks are for us. It was a blessing doing business with you. And that's how I was able to get these Travis Scott for retail. Now these shoes hit over for like six or $700. But that's not the only Travis Scott I have. Do I got it in the building? Yes, I do. Ooh. So got a second pair. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stack gonna stack some things up. Um, So I got this pair. From Trophy Room. Oh, and sneakers. That's what it was. Trophy Room and sneakers. I think I hit or my wife hit, but we both filled it out. And next thing you know, we both hit. Um, so yeah, I have both of them in hand. Now I am dwindled down to one Travis Scott, still DS. Have not rocked it yet. Sit that right there. I sold my other Travis Scott to buy my new camera, bro. So this is the uh, iPhone 11. Um Yo, dope phone, and they got that. Give y'all a little, see y'all can see behind the scenes real quick. So boom, I ain't behind the scenes. So boom, see so my little camera, the other computer in the background. So the other computer right there, I'm not even sure if y'all can see it. Um, there's a computer right here, but I'm acting like I'm talking to the. But nevertheless, man, so I sold that, and that was over a thousand something dollars, bro. So essentially, it was a wash, man. I paid what 200 traded, sold that for that. So that's what I shot majority of my videos with is that. But the camera, I got cameras, I got this, and I got another camera I do my talking head videos with 4Ks. 
But yeah, man, so I repurpose the shoes. All the money I make off these sales and sometimes, all the time, not sometimes, all the money I make off the sales of the shoes I sell, I always repurpose it into my, my collection, man. It's not like I go and buy another hype shoe or whatever, man. So for the people who buy from me, I appreciate you. Thank you. Salute to you. You just helped me invest into more equipment and so forth so I can make these type of videos, man. But anyways, man, these are some of the few expensive shoes in my collection. I forgot about this. I remember I had this, but this is also over a grip. So this is over a grand, close to a grand, if not a grand. Um, do I have any other shoes in the collection? Um, a few shoes I will talk about, and then we'll wrap it up literally, like, next five minutes. Um, this is a shoe I feel people slept on, man. I like this. This is uh, so, Social Status uh, Sixes, the purple and black. Nike on the back. You got that fur. I love that, man. I love this fur. I love this color blocking dope shoe, snake print on the lateral side on that panel. That's cool. The purple and black did it for me. A lot of people slept on this shoe. I don't know why. I think these are dope. These are fire. People slept on these maroon sixes too, man. These went for stupid cheap prices, man. My still shows brand new, but I rocked it several times, man. This is one of the first shoes that Nike bought for two twenty. Then they try and hit us in the head with another two twenty for those Jordan three uh, true blues. But I copped this way below retail, though, man. Day one, I copped the day one too. So I looked out. Let me sell these people a love price. Um, another favor, favorite in the collection. I say favor, favorite in the collection of these sixes. These infrareds, man. Um, I think I will, actually that's when I started watching basketball, like Jordan, when he did that whole, you know, he won his first championship in '91. These was out, bro. These are dope. Uh, one of my favorite shoes, man. It's actually what really got me like to watching basketball and being into it as a kid, like. This shoe right here, man. Um, what else, man? I think that's all I can show because I can't think of anything except for these. Told y'all I like patent leather, Dover Markets, patent leather. This is my rain shoes. I rock these in the rain. Yeah, I got it from the homie Dan D. Sold to me for a great love price. Um Shadow Ones, uh, another shoe in my collection. First time I rock these was uh, you know, every time I travel. Uh, especially when I go to New York, I always wear a fresh pair of ones, like brand new, whether it's the Bands, the Royals. This was it. I even remember crossing the Brooklyn Bridge in these joints. Dope shoe. Uh, I said I was wrapping it up, and I am wrapping it up. The new love Uno joints. Miz is another Miz. Miz don't get much love, but they're coming back. They're hitting hard this year, man. I'm falling in love with a few Miz, man. The color, way done right, would make you purchase. These are dope. And I promise you, we'll be out of here if I can find the damn right shoe. This it? Ain't it? Is it this it? Ah, yes. Got to top it off. Got to end it on a good note. Air Jordan 1 Bands, my favorite shoe in the collection. I rocked this pair several times. Um, I rocked it recently, too. Not too long ago, man. Not DS. Two pairs. Still smell Gucci. Got the balls in there to keep it fresh. The one I want to throw on the feet. Look at the tumble leather on here, man. Nice pair of shoes, bro. Nice. You also got that feature that Jordan 1 get, gets, that glitter effect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, comes included with the shoe if you don't wear it. It is what it is. It is what it is. And that's it, man. How you guys like this freestyle Jordan collection? I didn't show you no Air Max. The only shoe I, that wasn't Jordan was those Reeboks. I would have shown the Air Max if it was a whole collection. Like I said, man, I, got a I shot an Air Jordan 1 video, about 30 minutes long. If you care to see that, you can see all the Jordan 1s in the collection in that video. I shot a Jordan 4, I shot a Jordan 3, and um, I did an Air Max Part 1. Air Max Part 2 is going to come up here shortly. So you guys have an idea of 70% of the shoes in the collection. There's still a lot of shoes that you probably have not seen that I probably have not talked about. Um, they're still here. All the shoes I only wear is in this room, um, but they're scattered out. Also in the drop list. You watch my head talking videos, you probably can... Zoom in and see the shoes in the background. The lighting's just right. But um, that's it, man. I'm sure I got some ones that came out. You even saw my basketball shoes, bro. I'll show you guys my basketball shoes. Man, this was a... This 30-minute video turned into a freaking hour and 45 minutes, man. The homie just hit me up. Like, you said 30 minutes. I'll try to drag him in here. Like, it ain't going to be too long. But, yo, I just get to talking. And I keep talking. And I keep talking, man. But, anyways, thank you guys for pulling up. Oh, let me get to the question before I get out of here, man. Let's see what you guys ask, bro. It is what it is. Says keep it up, man. Salute to you, brother Jason. Thank you, man. Good stream. Yeah. Black cats. Uh, I don't have any, Jason. Um, 
I've looked at on the fours. Very dope shoe. The infrareds. Those Jordan, uh, those and Jordan Sevens are heat. Um, Williams, we're at T Gat Kilmore with the J, uh, Jimmy Jazz. Oh, uh, where was that dead mall? With, oh, that was in Orlando. The dead mall video I shot, which did numbers. Yo, I shot a, a video called Dead Mall. Yo, most viewed video I've ever seen. It's probably like close to if not over four, it's over definitely clear over 400,000 videos. That video was shot this year, like three months ago. I won't be surprised if it's not over a half a mil right now. Did I say it right? Half a mil? Yeah, over 500,000. But um, yeah, that was in Orlando, man. I just freezed. I, that video was like, so I was like, about to go home. It's like, yo, let's just drive this way. I'll see my son in the morning afterwards. So I was like, I'll just stop here before I stop by and see my son. And I just went in there and just killed it. And then next thing those videos just going and growing and growing. Yo, I was like, people love that. I haven't been to the mall since, man. I'll probably shoot it again after this whole thing is over. Um, where do I sell my shoe? That's a very good question. So I have a a website called the almost I do own that domain, but I don't have it pl- uh, pointed there yet. But it's called outletplug.com. Outlet plug sound exact or spell exactly as it sounds. Outletplug.com. You can find all my gear. Not personally. Well, yeah, I could sell clothes that I wear, but it's pretty much brand new stuff. 80% of it is brand new. Shoes is on there as well. I got tons of uh, champion hoodies up there right now. Um, but yeah, go and visit outletplug dot com um but do 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 say hate those any tens uh i.e blue i do own some tens funny you ask they're at arm's reach do it on the jordan tens um orlando joints rocked it i think our first time busty south was thanksgiving 2018. it's crazy how i can just recall when i wear shoes I remember there was a point in time in my life I can remember everything I purchased, where I purchased it for, and how much I paid. Literally. I can go through every item in my closet and tell you $55 XY. It was versus Nike, $66. I'm talking about every item. Now, I don't got the brain cells to keep up with that, man. Um, I'm the highest in the room, 10. You, you leave in the shop for the ace. Let me see. I used to live in the shop for eight years and never came across uh, Travis Scott for wow. Well, they only start making the Travis Scott's in the last two years. The blue and white ones, blue and white what? Uh, give away any 11, 11 and a half. So uh, uh, let me see. Appreciate the art and kicks. Um. Uh, don't know, Richard. I'm just reading the comments down. Um, yeah, man. That's it, man. 58 people strong. Yo, tomorrow morning, I was supposed to go live on the Ventus channel for these uh, fire, the Jordan 5s, um, Fire Reds. I'm going to do like a cop live. So I'm going to pull up to this channel in the morning. I think it's 8 o'clock Central Time, which would be 9 o'clock Eastern for me. And then 10 o'clock, these shoes drop, man. So I usually have luck. On DTLR, so I might. Well, I'm definitely gonna do sneakers, but I'm gonna do DTLR as well. So I might probably be up in the office, have my computer set, and we're about to do live, man. Just rap and chat, just similar to this, man. Y'all already saw my collection, man. I already got collections on the internet. I don't know what more I could show you guys. I just appreciate the fact that people stayed around and watched this video for this long. Uh, y'all see the heat wall right here, all the shoes that caused the grip. Y'all see my passion, the Air Jordan One and the back cut. Y'all see stuff that I wear most. More more frequently than any other Jordans are these Air Maxes right here, which I didn't get to because I wanted to be a Jordan uh, scenario. Um, then you got the firewall here, this is just random kicks. Matter of fact, since I got this whole mess going, I might just kind of reorg this as well. I went to reorg the closet to make some space because I got my new workstation here. This is just so I can help get my um, my footage organized. I told you earlier in the conversation, not sure when you guys jump in, but this video was shot because I wanted to reorganize my closet because I... Um, I'm working on all the videos I shot. I have tons and tons, if not thousands of hours of videos. And um, when I make these videos, I like to recall on shoes when I bought them, where I bought them, where shoe it is. To do that, you have to know where your clips are at. I don't know where half of my clips are at. I know where I bought the shoe. You can mention any shoe in my collection. I could tell you potentially it was a mall pickup, it was an outlet pickup, it was a sneaker app, et cetera. 
um i could do that but i don't know what year they came out i don't know every year these shoes came out but so these me organizing my clips will help me do that to make these videos more fire so i can recall you know saying shoes of the past and give you ideas of pricing what it looks like in the outlet 2016 2007 to where it looks like in 2021 that's 2020 is almost a wrap you know well i'm saying a lot of people are give up on 2020 we need a reboot of this year man so organizing my footage that's why this desk um set up here a uh, well, little workstation essentially but that's it man that's it thank you guys for pulling up thank you guys for watching this whole video this whole live on the shrimp i had i didn't know where the direction was gonna go but i think i did pretty good man what y'all think man wasn't too hard on the green on the 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 heineken so i'm gonna wrap it up and then uh probably organize this stuff and i'll see y'all in the morning if y'all want to pull up to uh da vinci man uh i'm sorry uh vintage did i say it right am i am i tripping well i told y'all earlier what's who, who's who's live i'm going on tomorrow um the vintage world right yeah that's what it is vintage i'm called then you're going we're going to his spot man let me get this guy out of here um that's it y'all um about a any last words damn i check your site out and you don't have size 11 man maybe I, you know what people bought the 11s that's right i forgot the homie ben he went to cyber threes uh, he just copped those are you streaming with the homie tomorrow yes i am um cool kicks when you edit your video you need to take the clips of you copying them put them that aside and label it i guess yes that's true um it's just you know just to get these videos up is a is a uh a task and also getting the videos out in a reasonable time as well been thinking of doing for that for the summary video and stuff that's cool yeah definitely do it start tagging your videos now cool because i know you're gonna as long as you record and post man you're gonna have to organize it bro i see your hustle you don't be like me start doing it now uh who else did uh you did good stay up sir most deaf jason um do a ds collection man you just saw the ds collection <laughs> like everything I, don't, I mean, yeah, I mean, some of my work, but I think majority of the shoes I did, man. Maybe you guys can do it for me. Edit this video, clip it out, send it to me, and I'll post it and give y'all, I'll give y'all the revenue for the video. How about that? If y'all want to take your time and do it, man. Best person, I will post your video. Um, maybe not the revenue. We can work something out, something close to it. Maybe we can do like a, I don't know. If y'all interested, y'all hit me up. Let me know what y'all want to do. But um, I do want to do a giveaway. Uh, the actual giveaway I had in mind was the Air Jordan 13 Mellows. I still have the extra pair. I bought that probably a year and a half ago. So I can definitely do that as a giveaway. And I'm probably going to do that with the sweater. So when everything gets cool, literally, figuratively, um, I'm going to do that. So, But it's going to be a combination. So the sweater and the shoe is going to come together. And if I can get a different size, I don't know. Maybe we can try to figure out if it's going to be your size or not. But I do have a pair extra that I can. And y'all can do whatever y'all want with it. But I want somebody to have it because I also want you to rock the sweater with it. So maybe we probably work it out. We get your size. But until then, stay tuned to that. That's probably a giveaway I could probably do since y'all been asking for it. I never did it because I don't want to track those people. You want to watch me because you want to watch me. Not what I can give you. All right. So I've been rambling. Thank you. It's going on two hours. I appreciate you guys. And I'm out of here, man. I'm going to finish this and um, clean up. All right. Good to go. It's a wrap. It's crazy. The awkward moment when you try to end your live stream and you don't know how to. <laughs> Look at that. Still haven't doing, done it. End broadcast.